Very good afternoon to all the learners. I welcome you again in this today's session, Sustainable Development Goals and Overview. I'm sure you must enjoy last session, which we discussed about brief overview of this program post visit diploma in sustainable science in the last session. In the last one week, I have all this year some of the recorded video which we use for our MOOCs program. And in those videos, you must have learned about the origin of the word sustainability from the point of sustainable development, what we are discussing in this silly in this program. And uh, looking into and uh, assuming that you have basic idea on that look after I'm sure you have read our study material and uh, you have watched the videos which I have shared. Today we are going to have this session sustainable development goals and overview. When we talk about sustainable development goals, we know that the UN global common efforts of achieving sustainable development is to identify some goals. And we have 17 sustainable development goals to be achieved by 2030. Then what is sustainable development? And we know that as per the definition of World Commission of Environment Development that was public, published in the year 1987, it is development to meet the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability to meet the needs of the future generation. There are certain limitation of the definition you know, in the academic environment, academic arena, and different forum and different plot platform discuss it. And we have also put some of the videos which we compile from those publications. Setting aside that, we learned that the concept of sustainability is not a new term. It is, you know, is all is humanity. If you started in one of the video, you must have learned that it was started since our, that uh, particularly uh, when the human civilization started, especially when we shift from uh, that hunter gatherer to the agriculture, you started agriculture and uh, followed by you know, uh, the industrialization. And uh, all these are related to, and we can say it is the impact of increase in human population. In one side, in other side, cause of, you can say, lack of our ethics, that means value of ethics, our ethical values is diminishing them thereby. And, uh, you know, when we talk about sustainable development, we have certain dimensions also over here we'll discuss today in brief. And you must have learned all those things in the video also. So when we're trying to implement or we're trying to follow certain routes after realizing whatever we have done, in the past few centuries and understanding we need to change our own behavior or when our own way of interacting with the nature in that process, what we have find. Certain challenges also here for achieving sustainable development. That's why, you know, started from your 1972 Stockholm conference to different 
international convention flora you know that creation of united nation bahamendan program then constitution of world commission in bahamendan then you know uh, one of the important convention is world uh, uh, that uh, rio convention rio con uh, the conference then you know we have agenda 21 then we have millennium development goals so we have achieved something on millennium development goals you must have looked into uh, that also in study material but still there are some gaps looking into the contemporary issues looking into the goals we have to achieve to bring a sustainable planet that's why we have sustainable development goal and uh, again going back to the dimension of sustainable development you know if you look directly to the definition to meet the need of the present generation means that reflect that when we are we have to meet something and if you look into what if we are depending on what if the resources is from our environment so there is always a relation between nature and society and if you look into our study material if you look into how the impact are happening is because there is imbalances because there is some problem in the process of that uh, getting the resources from the environment right so because of that impact is then uncontrollable impact is happening which was some uh, possible to control to uh, uh, certain limits right so when we talk about sustainable development when the issues is beyond our beyond the limit now the issue is not about your environmental degradation resource degradation it is about development also because when we talk about uh, a uh, sustaining sustaining a society sustaining environment and when there is relation between your nature and society it is a relation between nature and society that gives everything what every individual or the society needs uh, a society it's, uh, i mean uh, uh, transforming we can see uh, that uh, uh, the civilization is evolving right so the point is that when we talk about this sustainable development uh, we have to balance this relation between the production we are getting from the uh, environment and the system the social system we exist right this it's uh, we know that when you talk about the issues of sustainability how the term was how it was evolved then you know it is because of the human activities uh, then uh, human activities uh, then we entirely depend in the environment and because of the uncontrolled use of the resources the resource consequences happen and this how uh, that uh, idea of sustainability started uh, with the human civilization again when we are talking about sustainability it concerns about the health of the human health of the ecosystem safety of every component when you look to human dimensions it's about social and economic stability of society that means that in rightly or badly indicated that there must be a basic quality of life in terms of you know health safety social and economic stability so what we learn from that concept of evolution of sustainability and uh, then again from the definition of sustainable development what today we use is that we need to prioritize when we talk about a, a long term growth uh, by bothering about uh, i mean the concern about environment in the sense that when uh, human as far as human is in the planet there will be some development development is also required so when we do some development we do some activities when we depend to the nature 
that should they also uh, this should have uh, I mean that should have limit uh, that should have minimum impact to the environment means when we do all those activities we have to maintain uh, the limitation and we must try to avoid uh, very 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 possible the environmental problems so uh, the basic relation in basic relation we have seen that the you know the nature uh, the human require the resources from the environment when we depend on the environment then the relation between human and environment is in through that what the medium that is on medium of economic medium this is how nature society interaction is happening when this in that also you know you must have look into some of the video that talks about the dimension of sustainable development right in that also one point or the another issues what we learn is because of the increase in human population because of the whatever the way we are depending to nature instead of utilizing the resources we go beyond that utilization using the process of extraction and in this time we sometimes do not bother about uh, our moral responsibility to other species right so and that is another point the another is uh, the the uh, the next uh, is what you we can look is you know whatever the degradation we are happening is in the uh, because of the advancement of human knowledge we depend on technology it is a technology to speed up the that uh, i mean uh, to i mean uh, have more that uh, that is technology that have more damage to the in one sense we can say in the beginning right on the other side when we are uh, looking for uh, the solution also it is a technology where we are going to get more efficient way of resource utilization in the same way legal and political dimensions if you look into traditional way also why we have harmon how we have harmony harmonious relation between nature society if we look into our ethos the cultural ethos you will say that was unwritten legal framework what is right or wrong right again it is about politics in the sense that that system is existing in the same way in the modern one when we have to uh, need to revert back or we have to bring back to near or almost the origin form of what we used to have the relation that also needs to look from all this dimension so when you talk about the dimension as i told you then those dimension can be looked into the whatever happening uh, the degradation or uh, imbalance in nature society interaction is because of the uh, another uh, angle we can say because of our lack of moral dimension and it is again it is going to give a positive input to in, in um, developing sustainable development so in the same way ecological dimension is one of dimension when where we have to look uh, to for a sustainable development that social dimension economic dimension legal dimension technical dimension political dimension these are some of the dimension which we have to uh, understand from different angle because when you talk uh, when we know that the imbalances was happen because of all these dimension and bringing back on the achieving towards sustainability has to be look from that dimension in a holistic way right details you can get from uh, that uh, uh, get from that uh, videos also but it's open for discussion and later part of this uh, session also we'll have discussion then again if you look into uh, the individual level what we were talking about we know that this uh, it is started from bottom up and top down you just again you just look from bottom uh, that bottom up a person we are let us take an example how i mean i will uh, 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 this uh, look this from different angle right different authors give from different uh, i mean perspective i look from that that perspective belonging belongingness of place is very important 
Right. So this, when we talk about this Schnabel-Gee triangle of uh, uh, that uh, three important pillars of sustainable development, the relation between your nature, society, to the medium of economy, belongingness of place is important. If you look in, into any of the environment degradation studies, who had happened that? How the colonialism in India, because they do not have much attachment to our nation, our country, our resources for them extraction, their economic improvement in their own country was the main agenda. That's why it was degrading. Our environmental degradation was so high in that time, right? So in the same way, when we are opposing, I mean, uh, for a sustainable development, belongingness of a place is very important. In the same way, permanence is a person, no, then, then one generation to another generation. No, we, uh, we uh, said that when we, for example, simple take a simple example in our Indian system, our grandfather, I mean, when they plant some fruit trees, and say, okay, I may not be able to get this food in my lifetime, but my grandson may or grandchildren may get it, right? This talks about the sustainability in international context. This talk about a moral responsibility. So that's why when you talk about the sustainability, we have to look for another generation. In the same way, intergenerational, also important than, you know, when you need to have an identity. If you have an identity, when you talk into identity, can look into different level, individual level, I'm X, Y, Z, then your family, then your village and your nation in that way. So identity and happiness is also important. This is a certain dimension which we need to look when we discuss about sustainable development at different level. That's, that is something. So this is the relation you must have uh, uh, look into study matter. Then coming to the, now all these, when we are looking for a sustainable development from all these dimension in holistic way, challenges is over there still exist. And in future also, these are the challenges we have. We must try to, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, change all this, uh, fight all these challenges. Either uh, we must try to minimize uh, the impact of this challenge. One is that we know whatever happening, the issues of sustainability is because of human population growth. Then the challenge is about inequities. You know, the resources are, if you look today, you will see, for example, let us uh, take an example. India is one of the most populous countries, right? And, uh, and uh, one of the, we can say developing country, country and uh, most of the population, I mean, poor people, a higher number of percentage of population is below poverty line. We can say, I mean, uh, we, uh, we know, I mean, most of them are mid, uh, you know, middle income. Group. But if you look into some of the research person of the world. India have two, three figures among them. Do you know that how the resources are inequality or, I mean, I mean um, uh, distributing rate? On the other side, because of development, what we are getting? Because of the development, what was achieved is inequities in the societies rich poor, right? In the same way, when there is an inequities, social disruption is over there, then issues of gender it is very common as you know. Then climate change, climate change is the result of what we did with our environment. The way we are living from the last few centuries, because of our lifestyle, because the way we are extracting the resources, and more of, uh, and if you look into the modern uh, world, the modern generation, we are very materialistic society. We are in a materialistic society. And as I told you, ethical values are an issue. 
we must have you must have learned or even heard yourself that in our forefathers before cutting the trees even we used to wash today i mean there that ethical values is no more we pray to them today i'm going to we are going to cut you and that is for for this purpose those values are they are so that our ethical values moral responsibilities are no more right then all these challenges can be looked into two different scale one is the fundamental issues uh, when you look into a macro level i can can be look into as a measure of stakeholders if we look into micro level because this micro and the macro level are interlinkages to each other means your individual responsibility individual activities is directly related to what is happening in the macro level that's why this bottom up approach and top down approach are very important that needs to be worked together so when you talk about the fundamental issues as i told you population growth and its implication when you talk about population growth what are its implication you have seen resources demands are increasing because of that you know to fulfill our need to uh, meet the need of our generation you know what we did we use machine you know if you look back before the industrial i mean industrialization also when we study about the evolution of concept of sustainability what was happened in the european country because of population growth what was happened like that is the implication of population growth right so this is a simple example then you know every country every nation every society needs they are looking uh, towards an economic growth and this also is required right but the way we are evidence with this uh, that uh, Uh, that kind of economic growth that's in a capitalistic form is i told you and uh, most of us in india we know that the capitalistic economic system that was exist that used to be exist in british era that ruin our natural resources and today still also the nature of development across the world we are clearing the amazon we are clearing number of forests and uh, you know when we talk about development today what we are talking is development is about having you know uh, that uh, that airport developing more roads so this needs to be this are certain uh, i mean issues which we need to understand we needs to be tackled in a very harmonious relation with the nature then as we know the climate change is the biggest challenge because of what debate we have done during the last few century population growth and its implication capitalistic economic growth nature of development this cumulated all this impact cumulated to a biggest challenge that is climate change and today when we are trying to bring sustainable development goal whatever millennium development goal then sustainable development goal sustainable planet this has become silence because we cannot say that our environmental quality is good we will be bring we will be able to get we will be able to achieve the sustainability of the system it's not about your environmental quality it is about balancing everything and another obstacle is we know this has happened now we need to go in this direction still we are very impatient our mind our human mind is that okay what if you are doing today we want to reaching the next minute next minute or another next uh, within a short period of time we do not have simple example we i mean if you look into some of the farming system agroforestry in some of the most of the part in the bali area who do not recommend that right then selfishness 
started okay for me for my family for my society uncertainty we also sometimes think that okay it is we don't know what will happen in the future jee raha hai jeene ke time mein jo milna kar lo jo karna kar lo that is it then we have as same is unlimited analytical capacity and uh, sometimes we think the same this i mean obstacles are i mean related to is the vulnerability you know uh, we think that okay by planting this tree or this uh, particular uh, that horticultural crop a uh, horticultural plant or trees if it is not happen after 10 years so why we need to plan all this this is a certain question these are the obstacles when we know that these are the better part ways to achieve sustainable development but some obstacles in the issues are in front of us right so that we have stood as today so once i just want to uh, bring this one of the uh, some uh, beautiful report by uh, the uh, secretary general of united nation in the year 2000 our biggest challenge in this new century is to take an idea that sounds abstract is sustainable development and turn it into reality for all the world's people how to achieve that that's why we discuss about the fundamental issues uh, that issues and uh, that uh, obstacles therefore the basic important is our individual commitments needs to be understand our motivation the goal that needs to be at to achieve our dream of sustainability so in that way if each and every individual is taking the responsibility what we discuss all the challenges and obstacles we fight all those challenges and obstacles then 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 we will be able to i mean uh, stimulate inform policy uh, that uh, policy maker also in that way uh, we are sure that we will be able to achieve sustainability so that is why you know uh, is uh, you know that we have uh, the way uh, that uh, the, uh, the carrying capacity uh, then the, uh, we are having the uh, the planet art can stand but the uh, growth of population uh, it is happening and uh, all after understanding all these challenges all these obstacles now the global common effort is started from 1972 with stockholm and to different approaches and different planning the policy now today we are in that era of sustainable development goals to be achieved by 2010 if you look into the preamble of sustainable development goals please nandini please don't use this please read it okay the preamble itself say is a you know sustainable development goal is a plan of action for whom for people means for the society planet means for the earth and its prosperity so the reason why it is having important preamble of seeking to strengthen universal peace and larger freedom is without peace if we do not have peace no you will not get easily or it's very difficult it will be very difficult to achieve this mental development the nation the region where there is political turmoil or uh, you know what we can say social turmoil then achieving sustainable development goals will not be possible as we have seen and uh, uh, some part of the world in african country african countries and they, and in mexico and other so this sustainable development goals have seven in goals in the 169 targets right so this is about people all right uh, all these goals are interrelated to each other let us have a quick look into what are the different goals right 
you know, uh, when we look into the first goal is about no, let us, I will explain. Goal one is about no poverty, to zero hunger, that's one way. These two goals are, you know, both related. Then we talk about no poverty, zero hunger, you know, that's also <coughs> another third goal, good health and well-being. If your health is good and the well-being is good, no, then yeah, you will be able to earn more, right? Then it will have positive impact in achieving zero hunger and no poverty. In the same way, when quality of education is also important in that now all five talks about gender equality, because as we know, achieving sustainable development goals, one of the uh, uh, biggest challenges is issues of gender inequality. So we need to bring gender equality and a clean and a water, uh, clean water and sanitation is also important. The same way, all the goals in you get one or other components which are interrelated to its other. And uh, the, if you look into the seven goals, we learn that achieving sustainable development goals needs to be looked through an holistic approach. And even uh, the issues of sustainability has to look from the lens of that integrated approach and integrated understanding. So first goal is, uh, you know, uh, the first goal is about no poverty, ending poverty in all by its forms everywhere by 2030. Then how to achieve that? We know that majority of the people living across the world, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa, they have 1.90 dollar a day, how they will survive. Then if a person is having less than that amount, that particular, uh, that, uh, I mean, then uh, basic needs, if they are not able to achieve basic needs, how can you expect to end the poverty, and uh, to end the hunger, to give the education, to have the gender equity, and so on. So, how to achieve that? Every individual needs to have the individual uh, responsibility at different levels. You know, to achieve this, we have, you no. Know, if you are, you no, know, we know that, uh, like, you know, in our PCTSS, uh, we are from different uh, 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 profession. You know, if you are actively engaged in policy making, you can have fit a new of a number of policy to take care about all this goal. Like, you know, giving those opportunities for the poor and marginalized. And if you are in a private you know, sector also, as we know that today's private sector plays an important role in, in, in giving livelihood to the people. So you have to uh, take care about those especially those who are uh, those people under uh, the category of poor in private education. In the same way, academic, if we are as an academic or education community, we need to play an important role in giving awareness about the impact of poverty and how to fight these issues of poverty, how to improve the condition of certain section of the society who is under the category of poverty. On the other end, as a scientist also, uh, that if, uh, we and then we can find out different approaches that give uh, and then I mean uh, possibly uh, that give uh, livelihood to uh, different section of society, right? Then goal number two about hunger, zero hunger. Basic objective is to end the hunger, achieve food security, improve nutrition, and promote sustainable agriculture. Here. When you talk about the hunger, hunger can be looked into different level. Today, it is not about you know getting food; it is about nutrition. Also. If you are providing food, that doesn't means that they are hunger food. 
right? So we need to give that nutritious food to those people to each and every individual. So ending hunger, when you talk about uh, uh, issues of or the uh, that objectives of ending the hunger, we have to uh, and understand all that perspective, especially at individual level. Right. So ending hunger, when you talk about ending hunger, then three uh, A's should be understood: accessible, affordable, right? This availability. You should, we should provide the food means available should be there. Then number two is yeah, there should be accessibility to its and to the society, then affordability. So then only will be able to achieve the, uh, that uh, this goal. So in that way, as a citizen, uh, some of the uh, indicative I mean, initiative can be, for example, when you talk about in India, let us take an example in India, despite of uh, very hard work, hard working, you know, we have seen nowadays it is minimum. I mean, we are not much uh, uh, heard about those views, but uh, a few years back, uh, suicide of farmers were very common. They are very hard working uh, despite of their hard work because of different issues, you know, that take the loan and unable to, I mean, uh, give back the loan, all these issues, right? So how to help them? As a citizen, I may not be able to give the money, but the certain ways, certain I mean, uh, style of life, we can say, if we are, we are able to afford something, we can do like, you know, we can buy uh, the local produce. If you buy the main, I mean, your, that uh, local produce from the local farmers, then, then uh, they will improve their socioeconomic, uh, economic condition, right? So in that way, uh, we can uh, promote them. And even we can, uh, I mean, suggest them that, okay, uh, no, you are providing us only this must, uh, this cereals or this kind of uh, vegetables. So in next season, you plant more varieties of plants. We are here to buy you. So in that way, we can promote them. We can save them from the issues of that uh, poverty, issues of uh, that livelihood, uh, uh, that uh, lack of livelihood, right? Then uh, the uh, third goal is about good health, uh, health and well-being. Is we know that it is a status of health and your well-being that will bring it written. That's why we're talking when we talk about and hungry, we talk about and, po uh, and poverty. We talk about nutritious food. So these are interrelated. When you have ensure uh, healthy lives and you promote well-being, then only you will be able to achieve others. So as an educated or informed citizen, then you can give awareness or give help to them in the same way when you promote that your local farmers to plan to plant mixed cropping or certain of the crops which are very nutritious, then that's also indirectly indicate that we need to have still the farmer will also get those food and uh, their health and well-being will also taken care, right? Then quality of education is also very important when because if you look into any of the issues, if uh, we get education in the sense if we are giving literacy up to some um, uh, stage, then uh, half of our issues will be resolved. So, and, and uh, to give more meaningful uh, that livelihood opportunity than giving higher education, uh, giving quality education is the, one of the best options. If you are giving uh, uh, the quality education to all the citizens, especially young generation, uh, then uh, the other goals will be achieved very easily, right? Then, in that also certain issues over there, you know, 
sometimes in India it was exist. I don't know. I don't see today it is exist, but in rural areas all it still exist. Fifth friends, it's a gender bias education. That's not there. Right. Then it's uh, we know that in India it is uh, effectively implementing free education up to certain extent. We have, you know, we have services to that, such as SSA and other number of schemes. So in that context, uh, India is uh, uh, going ahead than other nations. We can say that is if we compare to other developing country. So in that way, we encourage the next generation, young generation to give her education in the same, in the way we are today, today in the pandemic also government in India also promoting online education, at least in this uh, pandemic, they should give, uh, they should continue their education. Yet there are certain activities we have to do. And, uh, and uh, as a, I mean, inform student, it's a, and we can say economically, I mean, uh, better uh, citizen, uh, what we can do also that uh, we can then uh, give, I mean, the sponsor education for uh, children of farmers, children of uh, I mean, downtrodden uh, section of the society. In that way, we can have in bringing quality education, right? Gender equality, you know, that's I told you when you talk about education, that needs to be balanced, right? So in that same way, in the same way, for example, what we have, uh, we have seen most of the, uh, I mean, uh, part of the you know, uh, world, we can see in the world also, but in India also, uh, we give higher preference to the son than daughter. This mindset needs to be changed. And uh, we need to empower. I don't like to use the word empower because this is my personal view that to talk that, uh, that uh, girls and the women, uh, they have to be taken equally uh, with the men. And that uh, needs to be uh, aware and needs to be implemented at our user level also. Uh, in that as a informer, educated uh, citizen, what we can do, for example, if you, you are a woman, you can uh, address unconscious biases and implicit association that form an unintended and often an invisible barrier to equal opportunity. Even you can you can fund, for example, uh, you can fund, uh, you can give or you can sponsor uh, then, uh, education for girl child and so on, right? This is the 10th thing. And coming to the basic needs, you know, goal number six about uh, basic needs. Water, no. Clean water and sanitation is important. When we're talking about goal number three, that's about health and well being. When we talk about human good health and well being, and without having clean water and proper sanitation, then it will also be very difficult to achieve this goal. So, and if you look into the figure, you know, uh, in most of the real world, across the world, they are not access, they are not able to access to clean and uh, portable drinking water. This is a major concern. And uh, even today, if you go, if you visit in even not you forget about real urban difference, even in urban area also, you see status of sanitation and hygiene is very worse in certain part of any of the cities, any of the village that needs to be taken. So if we are looking for a sibling, a zero hunger and poverty and uh, uh, good health and well-being. We need to ensure access to safe water sources and sanitation for all. What we can do as a civil society organization, you know, we can take part in different schemes 
related to this area. We need to give awareness, play whatever the possible roles in for achieving these goals. You know, like we have World Water Day, World Toilet Day campaign. This can be done. And, uh, you know, as a scientist, what we can do is that if we are from purely a technological background, you know, certain, for example, you know, affordable, low cost, then, then water treatment kits may also be provided. Sanitation hygiene kits may also be provided, right? So these are certain things we can do. Both number scientists talk about affordable and clean energy with an objective of ensuring access to affordable and sustainable energy for all. As we know that energy is the driver of life. No, whatever the degradation happening and the, the imbalances in the nature society interaction is through the process of energy consumption, right? And uh, it is because of the way we are consuming the energy. The impact today we are getting those impact. That's climate change. Right. In the same way, certain, we can say majority of the, if you look back, one century back, you know, only certain part of the world, they were getting better quality of energy that have a negative impact after a century. But still today, there are certain pockets of the world which they are not accessible to clean energy. When, for example, let us take an example. In rural area, we use fuel woods. We use kerosene for land and so on. That have direct impact to the health of the, especially women. So if you talk about sustainable development, you know, the first and the foremost thing for achieving sustainable development is individual health and well-being. So when individual health and human uh, well-being is, first is, you know, it is the way we are utilizing or the energy. That's why we need to give a clean energy. When you talk about clean energy, as I told you, in certain pockets, and most of the underdeveloped country, they are not getting clean energy. So, and giving clean energy means needs. It is not about you know, giving that, you know, this is the clean energy you use that. Okay? As I tell you, when you talk about food security, it is about availability should be there, accessibility should be there, affordability should be there. So we have to give affordable clean energy. Then only we'll be able to achieve that goal number seven. So what we can do, when you talk about this at different scale, you know, uh, if you look into institutional and a higher scale than individual, it's a little bit in a lot, I mean, um, uh, higher scale. In government, in your office, then we can request or we can save to light emitted LED bulbs and star rating electric appliance and so on. 
and even in a carpool system instead of i mean driving um, only yourself you just let us follow among us a carpool system these are certain i mean initiative we can take at individual level at institution level like in that way we can achieve this goal goal number seven then goal number uh, i talks about decent work and economic growth because when you talk about economic growth economic growth can achieve when we can have them and we are able to keep proper and suitable livelihood to all the citizens so in that also you know we should take care about the health of every employer that's why the major objective of this goal is to promote inclusive and sustainable economic growth employment decent work for all and we have to understand the word decent work for all giving i mean getting economic growth doesn't mean that we are giving that uh, some of the i mean uh, that livelihood which have more environment and degradation we do not take care about the health of the employee so we have to take care of all this will not go in detail then uh, next is industry innovation and infrastructure you know when we talk about ending property when we talk about that uh, end to end hunger when we talk about livelihood when we talk about food security when we talk about uh, that gender equality and so on no giving opportunity needs to develop a efficient infrastructure system that can be possible when we have innovation we have industry so we need to start please uh, a design infrastructure and in the process of uh, developing that design infrastructure we should give in our mind that that infrastructure development uh, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization and uh, that also foster innovation right then uh, sdg 10 talks about reducing inequality that's we talk of uh, we know that inequality in different forms exists in this today's society from the point of the income from gender from age disability sexually orientation race class ethnicity religion or post to be so on that is the point come when we talk about obstacle right when it talks about selfishness human selfishness you know mine my family and all this stuff. so if you want to uh, reduce the inequality that that negative point of your uh, that selfishness needs to bring in a positive way right equality is, has to be bring in my family equality has to be bring in our society quality has to be bring in our nation than than our uh, world so in that way we can bring those two, right and i will not go in detail when you talk about inequality development this is a product of development we have to minimize it right so these are certain things then sustainable cities and communities you know uh, when we talk about the cities cities is the powerhouse of economic growth right and uh, we will talk later on about the industrial uh, that urbanization so on. you know most of the activities are happening from the center uh, from the city right on the other hand uh, there is such an i mean i mean phenomenon happening as we call is most of the economic call is it as a urban push and a rural pull why region is when you talk about you know to end the hungry to end poverty you know we need to give that livelihood so for their livelihood then it attracts to the society and uh, to the cities 
if you look in this today's pandemic also, you will see when we realize in this time, most of us aware, we use not, we, we are not much aware of that. Suddenly, last year, when their lockdown was happened, number of migrant labels, they want to go back to their native place. Right. That, so this shows that why they are coming to the cities area. Because livelihoods over there, this is called urban, uh, the real push. Because in urban area, they do not have opportunity to earn their livelihood. And, and uh, in other, uh, uh, on another side, you can say when infrastructure facilities over here, young generation, they are attracted towards this direction. In the same time, as I told you, when you talk about health, uh, that sanitation, health and sanitation, still, you just look into the best examples in Delhi also, you look into situation of Bangla. In certain pockets of the city, the situation is very worse because we do not have properly planned our process of developing the cities. So we need to we need to develop in a proper that uh, that planning process that should happen inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable. We have the cities. If you look into the road infra connectivity infrastructure, it's not good. The water we are getting, the condition of that power, power availability, and so on. So, but in our country, it is, we are going a, towards a good direction, better direction by having our smart city project, right? Then the SDG 12 is about responsible consumption and production. You know, the beginning root cause of the degradation of environment is when you talk about sustainability, the degradation of environment needs to be looking at holistic approach that this imbalances of nature society, interaction of nature society relation, it is about our way of consumption, our way of production that is affecting to the harmonious relation of nature society, right? So today, when we know that certain way of our lifestyle, certain way of our industrialization is not good to the environment, not good for the health of the planet, then we have to take responsible for that. What we can do, we have to use efficient technology, efficient resources, we need to minimize the waste. When we, saw, we say, we talk about reducing waste means, you know, efficient utilization of resources. And uh, whenever we buy something, we have to think before buying it. What, uh, what, uh, what is the impact of this? Say an example of, you know, single-use plastic. Before you put destroy in your mouth, you think before that. The same way when you use your policy. So in that way, I mean, we will be able to tackle this. We have to tag our responsibility as a guns, uh, an informed and educated citizens, right? Then climate actions will come in details uh, later classes. 
you know, climate change is happening. How it was happening? Because of the more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We are pumping more carbon dioxide because of our industrial activities, because of our uh, production process, because of our different way of resource consumption pattern, lifestyle. So that needs to be taken down, or oh, that needs to be reaching. So we need to take an urgent action to tackle this climate change. We know that impact is, you know, climate change impact. It never said that the climate change its impact is. Know, whether you are rich or poor or developed or developing countries, it has impact in each and every section of the society, each and every sector, and each and every nation. So for that, you know, uh, is, this is related to our efficient use of energy and so on, our lifestyle. These are some responsibilities. Then coming to life below water, is one of the, I mean, SDG 14. You know, in the process of our growth of human civilization, even before it was discovered, it is listed, many species has been extinct. This is our agenda. Right. So, and we know that The biodiversity, they play an important role in different way. And, uh, you know, that can be looked in the different classes. And uh, the point here is that, here I'm coming to uh, that uh, angle that when the way we are lifestyle, the way the society were existing, we never taken care about other species. We throw everything our waste without thinking for other species. That is affecting to other species. So we need to take care about that. Today, you know, ocean is full of plastic waste, different waste that have direct impact to the life in the water. So we need to take care about that. We know the role of water, role of the, those species. So we need to conserve all those resources, all those life in the water. So I will not go into detail. We know that uh, for awareness will be given we have different important days and all. Same way, life on the land. In the name of development, without thinking, in the name of extension, I mean, extension of agricultural activities, we cut the trees. When we you cut the trees, how many species and the homes of how many species we are taking out? We are I'm destructing. So we have to understand. So when Nipa, we are taking some development and activities, we should keep all this in our mind. So we need to protect our forest. We need to combat desertification. And these all can be reversed. We know that degradation site is there. Already some of the area is already degraded. We can, we have to reclaim all this, thing. restore all that area. This is about that. Uh, then coming to, as I told you, peace, justice, and a strong institution is important. Because whenever we talk about all the fabrics of sustainable development, all the dimension, you know, if you look from individual micro level to the macro level, you know, without peace and justice, it will not be able to achieve. And, uh, we need to have a strong institution. If you look into the traditional that's a form of institution, you, will, you must have found that 
They are very strong. It is because of that, in that time, our cultural norms, you know, the harmonious relation of nature society was maintained because of those traditional institutions who is very strong in their principles and their tenets, right? Then all the goals needs to be needs to have a partnership, and uh, you know uh, we need to help each other uh, among the countries, among different countries. For example, you know let us take uh, uh, some countries are very uh, they are highly they are GDP is very high they are, they are very rich, but in certain countries they are underdeveloped and they do not have enough. I mean, uh, economic condition uh, to fight all these issues and, and uh, to follow all these efforts. So there is a need to, for partnership to help each other, all right? So global partnership is important. So in what we see is that uh, the progress is, you know, we know that we have SDGs with 17 goals. Every nation is trying their best level to different approach uh, to achieve those goals and to look into the progress of that goals. Uh, you know, there are 247 indicators and uh, you know, each goal have different targets uh, and different timelines to achieve those targets. And those targets are regularly assessing, evaluating and uh, through 247 indicators and the global indicator framework was adopted by the General Assembly of the United Nations its uh, details are available over here and uh, uh, that related to the progress and indicators of sustainable development goals. I'm going to share some of the videos. Uh, this is uh, available soon. And uh, you know, uh, this is a, uh, this are some of the differences with, uh, with the band and the partner I suggest you that you can get to this references so that you can explore more uh, on uh, the important uh, areas related to sustainability. That is, uh, this is uh, for today. Uh, thank you.